So we decided to run this webinar because we have quite a lot of people who ask us about Stripe or why we decided to work with Stripe or want to know more about the integration and how um, it works for them or their ticket buyers. Um, so we thought a webinar might be a good way of just covering kind of lots of the basic questions and giving a bit of an introduction into our integration with Stripe. Um, and then, as I said, we'll publish the uh, webinar so other people can uh, come and watch it as they sign up to the platform as well. So hopefully it'll be a useful resource for you now, but also for people in the future as well as they as they join Ticket Taylor. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll be giving an overview of the of Stripe, looking at kind of how it works on Ticket Taylor um, and also kind of any questions at the end. So um, first of all, the basics. So what is Stripe is kind of probably the, a good place to start. Um, so sim simply the way they describe themselves a payment in infrastructure for the internet, um, which effectively means they bring everything together that's required for websites like Ticket Taylor to allow um, people to accept payments and then to, to convert those payments and pay it into their bank accounts as well. Um, so millions of businesses all around the world from platforms like us through to kind of e-commerce businesses use um, Stripe. So you can see a few of them here, you'll probably recognize some of these businesses, um, some of the largest businesses in the world use Stripe right the way down to kind of small um, startups and, and different sized businesses, but um, it's a really huge platform. Um, it's very similar to us in lots of ways. Um, and one of those is it's kind of charging models. So there's no setup fees or no monthly fees. So um, if you've started using Stripe, you'd probably be, be aware of this, that they just charge a fee per transaction. So every time someone places an order, um, there'll be a small fee there that goes to Stripe. It's also a white labeled experience for ticket buyers and customers. So um, again, you, you might have seen once you've set up an event that it's not necessarily really obvious to the ticket buyers um, that they're using Stripe. They wouldn't necessarily know that um, straight away. Oh. Um, I just thought this was a really interesting stat because people don't necessarily um, know they're using Stripe, similar to Ticket Taylor. Sometimes if you're using our widget, you won't necessarily know or your ticket buyers won't necessarily know that they're using Ticket Taylor. But um, Stripe prevalence is, is really quite amazing. So 90% of American adults and 65% of UK adults um, bought from a business using Stripe um, past year. So all of us, there's a good chance that um, we've used Stripe for something that we've bought online, whether we knew about it um, or not. Uh, Stripe was prob probably hidden away doing some of the processing. So the next obvious question then is, so why did we um, decide to use Stripe? So we could have built a payment um, provider ourselves. We could have, we could take payments and process it all ourselves. or obviously there's other companies out there that do similar things. Um, one of the main reasons we decided not to build it ourselves and to work with a company like Stripe is because it's less risky for you and it's less risky for us. So the fact that Ticket Taylor never actually touches your money, it just go, it's all processed by Stripe, means that you don't have to worry about a ticketing platform, a smaller business in comparative to Stripe holding, holding your money. And for us, it's a lot less risk in the fact that we're not processing millions and millions of pounds. So last year around $250 million went through Ticket Taylor's Stripe integration, um, and that saves us having to process it and also saves, saves risk for you. Um, also, obviously, I've already mentioned their scale as well. So that's one of the things that was really important for us, knowing that there's lots of similar platforms, platforms similar sort of sizes to us using it. So um, they're kind of some of the key reasons. But to dig a little bit deeper, um, one thing that we really like about Stripe is their technology first approach to solving a very effectively complicated problem, but their kind of ambition is to do it in a very simple way. So hopefully as some of you have used Stripe and kind of signed up, you'll notice that the kind of dashboard and things are quite simple to use. And that's something we really try and do at Ticket Taylor. So it feels like a good um, marry up between those two things as well. Um, and we also believe it is the premium payment provider um, platform out there as well. So for us, it was the obvious choice um, to integrate with them and use that as our primary payment provider. 
There's some other reasons as well that are a bit more specific um, to, to what makes Stripe work really well with Ticket Tailor. So one thing is that they can accept credit and debit cards all over the world. So it's a very global platform and similar to Ticket Tailor, um, I think we sold in over 132 countries last year. So um, being able to accept and pay out money all around the world is really important to us. They're also continually adding new payment methods. So things like Apple and Google Pay are really good to improve conversion of ticket buyers. So you know, for us as a business, it's really good to just be able to plug um, these additional payment methods on to give your ticket buyers a really good experience. And also because they have so many billions of data points um, because they're working with so many other platforms, they get very smart in kind of being able to detect fraud in a way that if we were to do it ourselves, we wouldn't necessarily be able to do that. So that scale um, of being able to detect fraud and ensure that as many payments as possible um, go through uh, is really powerful. They also have lots of local payments, so um, payment methods. So very specific kind of payment methods to certain regions will, are added to Stripe as well. So we've recently um, added Ideal for the Netherlands and Bank Contact for Belgium. So those um, ticket buyers can check out in a way that's very um, convenient to them in their local countries. Um, and finally as well, Stripe handles all the security and compliance of taking payments online. So they're constantly developing the product to make sure um, it's in line with local laws and regulations, which is, which is brilliant for us to be able to um, adopt and ensure Ticket Tailor is also there for um, compliant with those laws and regulations. So now we're gonna look at um, how you actually get paid for your events. So I'll hand over to Ria. Thanks, George. Um... If you wouldn't mind moving the slides along, that'd be great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so yeah, the relationship with Ticket Tailor and Stripe is that obviously Ticket Tailor is the platform that allows you to create all of your events, and we plug in with Stripe, as George was saying, to help you get your money in a really secure way. And it's really simple to connect the two platforms to collect to connect your Ticket Tailor and your Stripe account. So the three steps would be to add Stripe as your payment processor. Um, this is really, really simple. So this is just connecting your account to your box office. So it's just a simple button that you click from your ticket tailor settings that will bring you to this page on Stripe where you can add in your Stripe login details. Um, if you don't already have a Stripe account, you'll obviously need to create one of those. So ticket tailor and Stripe are two different um, accounts that you'll have to have to add but it's really easy again to um, set up a Stripe account. So when you set up a Stripe account you just need to sign up online. They'll ask you some questions about yourself if you're a sort of sole trader or about your business to prove your identity. Sometimes they'll email you and ask for further identity verification like a picture of your ID but it's very quick. I actually run events as well with Ticket Tailor and Stripe, and I did this process and it took less than a week to be fully verified, um, just replying to those emails. Um, so once you've got a Stripe account, it's just one button to connect it to Ticket Tailor and you're ready to go. So once it's connected, you're ready to sell your tickets. Obviously, um, your ticket prices are up to you, the events you're doing are up to you. And this is what the Stripe checkout will look like to your ticket buyers. So if they're buying one of your event tickets, they'll see this Stripe checkout and you can see that this Stripe account has the option to accept Apple payments as well as just credit debit card payments. So super easy for your customers. And the last thing is about you getting paid. So we pay you directly. The, we're kind of an intermediary between your ticket buyer and um, your Stripe account. So they use Ticket Taylor to choose their ticket types that you've set up. Um, but as soon as they've made their payment, that goes directly to your Stripe account. Um, also, we have um, a special sort of relationship with Stripe. Um, so if you're using our pay as you go fees and you haven't prepaid credits, then your pay as you go fees and your Stripe fees will be deducted by Stripe. So that means that when you go into Stripe and look at your balance, it's completely your, your profit. So they'll deduct all your fees, which makes it really simple.
sorry about the presentation jumping around a bit there. <laughs> um, so yeah, just sort of the difference between Ticket Taylor and Stripe broken down is that Ticket Taylor is the place where you're gonna create your event pages. So do your marketing, set up your ticket types and all of your different options, sort of build, build out the things that you wanna sell. So we're the, the events platform and that's how you can think of us. So you can manage all your ticket types and pricing. Um, because of our integration with Stripe, if you want to issue a full refund, you can do that from Ticket Taylor dashboard. But Stripe is the financial platform. So if you've got some more complicated um, financial things that you need to do, you'll need to do them on Stripe. Um, so you can go there to sort of schedule your payout. So it's like to choose how often payments get deposited into a specific bank account. You'll want to do your financial reporting from Stripe. Um, they offer very easy sort of downloads for after event reporting or end of year reporting. And if you have a more complex refund, um, maybe someone wants to um, delete one ticket from an order, um, you have to go into Stripe to offer them a partial refund. We would only do full refunds for an entire order from Ticket Taylor. So that's a little bit of the difference between the two. Um, the best thing and a similarity between both us and Stripe is that we both have 24-7 really fast um, support via chat. So on Ticket Taylor, if you want to get support, it's from the little speech bubble at the bottom right of your account. And from Stripe, you can go to support.stripe.com slash contact. And again, they have options for sort of instant chat support. And I think they have an email support as well on there. But um, both us and Stripe have really fast support whenever you need it, which is really helpful, especially when it comes to a money question, because that can sometimes be one of the things you're most worried about. But yeah, Stripe are always really great at, at being around to help you. Cool. Thanks, Rio. Um... So now we're going to look at how people can actually pay for their tickets. So um, you might recognize some of these logos, but effectively it depends where you are in the world. Stripe will offer you different ways to pay uh, or your ticket buyers to pay for their tickets. So um, any debit or credit card so, um, can be used. And then also, like I mentioned earlier, Google and Apple Pay. And then there's also these local payments um, methods that can be used as well. And Stripe are always adding new payment methods and where possible, we will uh, integrate these into Ticket Taylor as well. So there should always be um, new ones being added um, over time. And so what are the fees for using these? So um, most people will probably be using their credit or debit card or Google or Apple Pay. And these are just the standard fees. So you can see here what they are for the UK, US and Euro countries. So it's always made up of a percentage and a flat fee um, for credit and debit cards. And um, this is charged on the overall order. So it's slightly different to Ticket Taylor, whereas we charge per ticket. Um, Stripe will um, charge you fees based on the overall order uh, value that um, goes through the platform. There are a few things that um, might uh, result in additional fees. So one thing is if your um, ticket buyers are using an international card and they require currency conversion for it to end up in your bank account. Also, if you, they offer instant payout. So if you need um, your ticket revenue um, in your bank account quicker, there are additional costs for taking that money out of Stripe um, quicker than their usual payout cycle. And then also these local payment methods. So things like Ideal and Bank Contact have different uh, fees, quite often less than um, the credit or debit card. So all of these fees can be uh, seen on the Stripe website. Um, so if you just Google Stripe pricing and it will show you the prices for your local um, area. And then the important question here as well is how can you pass these fees on to the ticket buyer? So um, all of these fees, you don't necessarily have to pay um, by yourself. You can pass them on, on to your customers. So there's two ways in Ticket Tailor of doing that. You can either do it by your transaction fee so the transaction fee is um, across the overall order, and that can be a percentage and a fixed amount or, uh, or, or one of the other. 
Uh, or you can do it as a booking fee. So a booking fee is just per ticket and that's a flat fee. So um, both of these you'll be able to see when you're on your dashboard. Um, the booking fee will be on your um, edit event and tickets page next to each individual ticket. And the transaction fees can be set globally across your box office and apply to all of your events. So um, definitely have a little look for those. The simplest way is probably to do booking fee, but transaction fees can be a little bit more accurate. So it just depends on how you want to do that um, and, ha and how it kind of works out based on your calculations. Um, and then this is where you'll see it in the ticket by process. So the booking fee will be seen next to each individual ticket. So you can see here, there's a 20p booking fee on this ticket. And then transaction charges will be on the order summary page. So it'll be the page after once they've selected all their tickets and we know the overall order value, the transaction fee will be calculated at that stage before they make payment for their tickets. So that's the end of all the information that we wanted to present to you um, on Stripe. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, we've got a few minutes now where um, you can ask them and hopefully Rio or I will know the answer. If not, we'll be able to defer to Stripe and get back to you um, with anything more specific.